Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Um, I've done a previous video showing this, but it wasn't completed. So, But I decided to kind of toss that previous video and redo this. This is the biggest recipe album book I have done to date. Um, I have the setup for making one with a three inch. This is a two, two and a half or two. I think it's a two and a half. Well, by the time you get all the stuff on it, it's three. Um, <clears throat> so this is like a two and a half inch binder, and I've, I've increased the uh, spine size on it. And it's made from a three ring binder. I de deconstruct it and then reconstruct it, the three ring binder. Um, the paper pad I use ended up using about one and a half. Is this paper I got at Joann's called Good Eats? It's kind of a fun paper line, um, full of bright colors, uh, whimsical designs. I mean, you got tacos and donuts and pizza and hot dogs with ketchup and mustard and pickles. You got pickle paper, um, waffles. Mm, uh, there's also food truck. Now, it came with cut aparts, but none of them fit the cover. So I was going on thinking, okay, what can I do for the cover? Um, my first thought was this one. But then I looked at it, eh, no. I'll save that for another one because I do a lot of my... Um, cookbooks and craft paper. Then I realized, you know, I had some of this, some of the paper in there was that you could print on. So I cut out a piece and I sent it through my printer and I used the definition for recipe and it just kind of worked. Um, now this has nine pages and I had originally thought of 12, but by the time I got my pages designed and done, nine was the maximum. I probably could have gone down to eight. But anyways, um, so this is the inside. And I, I print my own um, recipe cards and I designed them. Um, and I do that because sometimes my pockets in that are strange sizes. So this way I can custom make the recipe cards. Um, this is the cut, one of the cut parts I was talking about. So this is the front page. And I, I was figuring out this can hold over a hundred and some recipes as I have it stacked now. Now, what I have done here is I have two um, horizontal pockets that each have two cards in them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I did not do... Um, I did not do full page pockets. Um, this is my setup. I, these are the three that I had and I've got a weird thing here. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> I guess my camera. Okay. Um, but basically, um, I didn't have any heavyweight, um, craft card stock. But the, the craft card stock I get from Hobby Lobby and it seems pretty uh, good. But what I did was I took a one inch strip and I placed, um, there's a layer of Tyvek in between here and this is where I cut or where I punch my holes. So I can, I could use a three hole punch on this. Now on the back of this one, there's another two pockets, vertical pockets. And again, these are custom-made cards. 
and there's two in each. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of fun. I just said, I'm going to make a clear acrylic pocket. <laughs> and that's what I did. I thought it would be fun because, you know, sometimes you get recipes with pretty pictures. You can put them in here. Now on the back of this is a kind of expanding envelope. And a, there's four in this one. I This is actually the second one. I made for these books. First one I wasn't happy with. Um, I wasn't happy with the accordion on the sides and the bottom. So I went with, you can see, I went with just a kind of a square bottom and then there's a half inch um, accordion fold in here. Now I made a total of five of these type of pages. And I made two of these. Then I made two of these. And um, the inspiration for this album um, is a YouTube channel called Scrap and Rabbit. And this was one of her things. And I thought it was the perfect idea for a, a recipe album you know, doing a waterfall, but doing a reverse waterfall. Because as you can see, you can um, actually see the recipe, the name, what it serves on here. And the sleeves I use I don't have one that's uncut, but um, I took and I bought these um, here's one bought these. You can buy them at the dollar store, but Walmart's cheaper by 16 cents or 12 cents. Um, and they're these mini photo albums. And basically all I did was cut out the center and cut them apart. I cut them down the middle so that they were like this. And then I just cut this off. And I left these kind of plain. Um, you can actually decorate in between them right here. As you can see, there's a half inch space here. But I thought, you know what? Maybe they want to make a little note there. Um, and so this is an inch uh, piece of cardstock that I uh, scored in half. No, it's an inch and a half. It's three quarters of an inch. I use um, one of my edge or one of my uh, e or we are memory keepers uh, punches the scallop. Some people say it looks like a baby's bottom, um, but I thought it just fit. And I was able to put eight of these in here, so there's 16 recipe cards plus this here. So if they wanted to, they can just mark what recipes they have here. And then, of course, it closes with a magnet. And on the back of this one, on both of them, I had this paper and I wanted to use it because that's, that's neat. But I didn't want to cover it up. So I made the pocket halfway up. And this has like four recipe cards in it. And it just repeats. Oops. Again, another clear acrylic pocket. Oops. Got the envelope here. And I use um, these little foam or Velcro dots. And you can get them at Walmart. And the thing is, once they set for 24 hours, they're permanent. At least according to the packaging. And then on the back, because this is where my ring is, 
and you can usually tell how big it is by the size by this it's a what they call a D ring so this one ends up being two and a half um, and I added I actually made the spine about a half inch bigger um, I made another pocket and there's four recipe cards in here. Now this one's a little big to put in there. I could trim it down but I don't want to. I'm just going to put it like that. Um, I'm kind of a big deal. It reminds me of that um, Trisket or Wheat Thins. Some snack cracker um, where the guy, the cheese or the cheese takes in question about putting um, <clears throat> the uh, crackers on his sandwich and he goes well they're a cracker that's like a chip so I put them on my sandwich he goes and then the cheese goes well don't forget the pickle it's kind of a big deal so but this is one way to repurpose those big um, binders you have. I actually went to a thrift store that we have here called City Thrift and I found two three inch ones which I was very very happy with and I found another um, small one um, that's not quite as wide that I'm going to do for a smaller one but I mean there's over a hundred you can hold over a hundred recipes. Now with my smaller recipe albums, you know, the basic home, the home cook and that, this one, you know, if somebody's really into baking or cooking in general, this, or, you know, if they're running a business or something, this would be a great gift for them. So, like I said, this is the biggest one, the biggest cookbook I've done to date. I have done a very large um, memory album that's on my YouTube channel. But I, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, so this is it. Let me know what you think. I was thinking of doing a tutorial on the smaller three ring that I got. Um, and I may do that. But I've got another big project uh, that, I'm, that I'll be showing as soon as I get it covered. Um, and this is something to use for when I go to craft bears in there. So be on the lookout for the video. Talk to you later. Bye.